Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Lilia in the jungle and it looks like they're invading us. We're gonna be running a triple burn build. First item rush is gonna be Leandre's into Demonic and then of course we have our Red Smite for our third burn. I'm actually gonna just go ahead and reset. These guys are being hecka sketchy. We'll get our word down and start our recall before the 55 second mark. Grab our oracles and head to it. For our runes, we took Dark Harvest with Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter with Nimbus, Water Walking, Attack Speed, AP, and Armor. You don't have to take Treasure Hunter. Instead, you could go for Ultimate Hunter. But uh, Relentless Hunter isn't the best on Lilia at the moment. With her abilities doing burn damage from her passive, it can make it kind of... Uh, low value in fights because once you hit them one time you're probably not going to get to realistically use relentless hunter for the rest of the fight similar to why a teemo wouldn't take relentless hunter really all right we'll pull this over here we didn't quite get it there that's all right we want to center our w's on the monsters and also land q tippers lilia farms extremely healthy every time she hits a jungle monster or a champion with an ability she heals from her passive. You want to try to keep your prance up. That is how you're going to get from camp to camp extremely efficiently. We're not, right now we're moving at 373, which is pretty fast for not having boots. Most champions get around 380 with tier 2, so... Even without boots in these lower levels, we're already moving about as fast as a champion with tier 2 boots. Pretty solid. Your E's AoE, your Q's AoE, so is your W and R. Every one of your abilities is AoE if you're using it properly. Get a nice little Q-tipper there and we can take these at the same time. Something annoying on Lilia is if you do get invaded, as long as you have your Prance built up though, you should be able to handle it, if that makes sense. Right now we're applying our jungle item burn and our passive burn to both of these at the same time. We'll go ahead and smite the blue buff here. I'm running kind of low on mana. And we just did about a 315 on Lilia with Leash, pretty solid. Now we can walk out in the scuttle fight and have up our four prants. We should be able to take this before Kha'Zix gets here and with our four prants, we should be able to solo him. If you don't have your prants built up on Lilia, you can't really solo any champion in the game. You're very slow and don't have a reliable source of CC since you're easy to skill shot. Uh, I think we're about to run into Kha'Zix. He, he did a very tight clear and then ended up ganking kind of early. It's usually best for him to full clear so this doesn't happen. Kha'Zix level 6 is a massive power spike. He gets his Q evolution. We're going to be delaying that here. Wukong might be kind of mad that I'm in the general area and looking like he might actually die. Get our W down. We weren't able to save him. Bit of a messy situation. If I do say so myself. I don't think she'll be able to catch us. We should be a little bit faster. With our water walking and all that fun stuff. We got double dark harvest stacks. We also got Kha'Zix Krugs. So overall, I'd say that was worth that ended up being very worth i'd say go ahead pick up a mm, that's a tough call i guess we'll just go lost chapter for now tier 2 boots rush on lily can be extremely valuable only if you're really fed though if i got a kill or two or if i had the most gold in the game but in fact kha'zix has two kills and i have no kills so tier 2 boots wouldn't be quite worth getting tier 2's early dark seal similar to an evelyn can give high value in those situations Otherwise, just go for your first item rush. It'll give much more consistent value. And we crashed a wave on my bot lane. I can hover. I have a feeling they, ooh, they didn't reset. This is perfect. We can build up our prance and drag this over. Looks like my bot lane is uh, kind of forcing it right when I wanted to gank it, unfortunately. Grab that scuttle, bop this. We have water walking speed up plus prance, so this is fairly safe. I'm gonna keep it, the prance up off the dragon. That way we are, don't leave ourselves too vulnerable. 
Just remember, if you have less than three prants, you can easily die at any given time. Throw it right about now. Beautiful. Also, your W makes you immune to slows, so... If you get Nasus Withered, or if you're getting slowed from some source, you can use your W to get out of it. Or to keep approaching, if that's what you want to do. You can't go over walls with W, but you can go over slight corners. Like, I could go around the edge of this, but be careful. If you try to be too ambitious with it and cut off a bigger slice, you'll get stuck. And you'll be very sad. Wow. I think our comp's better with the Wukong Yasuo combo. I think Kha'Zix is on his, uh... Yep. Yeah, that's exactly where I thought he would be. For some reason, his Raptors are up. I wonder what happened over here. I'm, I'm happy to grab them. Get off all my Prance, get my R. I don't think I can solo Kha'Zix. Lily isn't that type of champion. She can solo low damage champions like supports or tanks because of her passive healing. But uh, if I R'd him, you just R away, so it's not really worth it. So yeah, so soloing low damage champions is very easy on Lilia because of your passive healing. But soloing high burst or high sustained damage over time champions is quite challenging. I think Kha'Zix might be invading me here. The way he was pathing was kind of weird so i pulled this in the bush he can't see me or the red buff in theory I'll smite that down like i said four prant stacks even if he does get on us here we should be able to make a getaway bike to gank my bot lane's doing well enough to where i can't really gank for them so we're in a situation where we're gonna have to keep farming not the end of the world for Lilia. We'll scoop that. We don't need that last one. Yeah, Kha'Zix is bot side. He shouldn't have showed. I'm going to go take his top side jungle. I think his red buff's up at this point. He's going to miss out on that. He doesn't have boots. I don't have boots, but I'm fast because of my prance. Moving at 416 now because of it. Toss my E over here to keep up my prance. Almost got the Malphite. Doesn't matter if it hits the minion. It's gonna keep my prance up. Now Kha'Zix is gonna lose some camps. Let's see exactly where he is. Oh wow, his red buff isn't up. It's a little confusing. I assume his Krugs are up? Question mark. He also got ignited. He's barely gonna live with six HP. Kha'Zix must have started top side, but that's conf I don't know. I don't know what happened there. So Raptors are coming up. I'll help myself to those. Might actually be able to kill Malphite too. I'll actually skip these. He's free. He has no R. Keep my Prance up. Auto attack in a W. Not going to R for this. Just keep autoing. Kha'Zix should be in the area, right? I don't want to fight several of them at once. <clears throat> Still haven't really used my R yet. Haven't found a good opportunity. I'm going to take Blue Gromp. Oh, we can reset for Leandries. I should wait till I can get boots, though. Sitting on Leandries with no boots for an extended period of time could be kind of weird. Pull these guys together, take them same time. With Lilia passive, she's basically like fiddle draining all the time against her camps. Basically, just standing here tanking them. It's, it's not even gonna get us that low on health. She wasn't always like this. There was a point where she actually lost a lot of health when farming, but then they buffed that and then nerfed other parts of her kit. They didn't like her being a laner. Go ahead and smite that. I kind of need to hit this. I'm going to lose all my prints. 
Go ahead, max our bowling ball second. You can go W max second. Bowling ball is a little bit more consistent though for... Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Yeah, just go W max second. They removed it. I don't know when they did that. Her E no longer gets lower on cooldown per level. I guess they didn't like her maxing that second. Sheesh. So yeah, actually max W second. That's so dumb that they did that. Her E only goes up for a skill shot. Only going up by 25 damage per level is actually very low. Generally, skill shot abilities go up by 30 to 55 per level. And only going up by 25 is kind of bad. I would like if I could see him. Hey, buddy. Got him. Had to flash for it, though. At least we got his R. Not half bad. Let's keep this prance up and I will be able to gank bot. I'm losing all of it, though, because it's got so far away. All right, I'll just go for it. Hey, we got the slow, kept the prance up. Couldn't keep up, man. She got the uh, speed up from her invisibility, plus the MF heal speed up. It's too much. They're zooming. It's finally time for us to back. We overstayed. We should have backed once we had enough gold for Leandri's and tier one boots. We have a lot more gold than we need here. We'll go for Leandri's and let's go to tier two. I was thinking about going for a uh, dark sail side of that was a bit greedy. Red buff up in 20, so I'll push bot side. Karma is free here. She might back though, cause she's super low on health. Who knows, maybe Kha'Zix shows up and I don't have my R. Okay, now I see Kha'Zix's bot side. He is a full item. This Karma types a lot, I'm gonna go ahead and mute her. Typing a little bit too much for my taste. Oh, wow. Almost reset the red buff. Rip. Trying to hit them all with Q-tippers is hard without resetting. Ooh, nice. He's taking a lot of damage. Uh... Oh, got it. Nice. I'm on double prant stacks in the queue. Down he goes. Kha'Zix is pretty low, and I'm still accidentally maxing W when I should be... Ma I mean, I'm maxing E second when I should be maxing W second. That's my bad. W max per level gives you slightly less damage, however... It gets on a lower cooldown as well. I think he's watching me right now from the bush here in a second. It's kind of funny. Yeah, he ran away. He can't really fight me when he's this low on health. I don't know if he had a ward or not. He's about to take some damage though. Oh, that was warded. Got double R. You also should be able to pinch a kill. All right, not bad. Ran past the mouth. I guess he was scared of that fight. I guess they're relatively tied in items. I think he'd win it though, since Malphite had already taken a significant amount of damage. Demonic's a really good second item on Lilia. The HP it gives you gives you a lot of survivability. There are other Lilia builds you can run for hyper carrying. I've done other videos. Riftmaker Lilia is extremely powerful, especially if you can build a lead, because you get so tanky and so much healing that it can't take you down. You're almost like an AP Aatrox or trying to think about it. or like a kind of like warwick where your self thing is that high no matter how much they focus you it's hard for them to kill you but if you're behind the rift maker build it can be kind of hit or miss with this build you can long range throw bowling balls and with the burn you get a little bit more like a value added for your team you see also sacrificing himself a little too much I don't want him to invade me. All right, he's not going to. He loses Scuttle at least. Like I said, Lily's best matchups 
I'm really goofing up these buffs. Though his best matchups are against tanks and support style champs. Heavy bursters are kind of annoying for her. Oh, come on. Am I gonna run into Kha'Zix here? Oh, we're so fast, dude. Got him. The bowling ball, since it does have AoE damage, if you throw it on a wall or a structure that's right near them, this guy's annoying. He's pinging me because I took a single minion when he's been solo dying. Not solo dying, but he's been putting himself in really bad situations and he's going to ping me. It's not, it's not like I've been pinging him or anything. But, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, your E. You can maximize its land ability. If they're near a structure or a wall, you kind of throw it in between and on top of the structure slash wall. Oh, wow. Wukong really went for that. I have a lot of damage. I'm gonna get in smite that. I don't want him to heal off of it. Keep up my prance. Hit him with red buff auto and cute. Down he goes. We're starting to hit our power spike stride. Now, what we wanna do is absorb as many monsters as possible and it will snowball our lead like really, really hard. Oh, oh he had R. Okay. <laughs> Yasuo, oh, he's taking my camps too. I'm just gonna start taking his waves. Most of the time when I cross through, I haven't been taking the whole wave. I'll usually just hit it to help him push, but I'm just gonna take the whole wave now. We're gonna be really fast, so we'll be able to get away with it. I'm gonna delay my uh, hourglass for a little bit more mobility. Lilia turns into a Karthus. Once you build a lead and you can stay in the enemy's jungle, you're gonna full clear both jungles. And if you keep your pants up, you can do it really efficiently. So like, for example, I would take his Gromp, Blue Wolves, Raptors, Red Krugs, and my Gromp, Blue Wolves, Raptors, Red Krugs. And then you can keep doing that on cycle, cycle, cycle. Sheesh, this, to this Kha'Zix is getting toxic, man. Maybe Yasuo was typing, though, I don't know. I have Kha'Z I have the Yasuo muted. So yeah, that, that's that's the plan here. We wanna get off our invade and keep up our prance. Wukong did take the blue buff. It's gonna kinda ruin my strategy a bit. <laughs> but you died, said Mundo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yasuo is helping himself to my camps, man. He feels very justified because I took a single minion when he wasn't in his lane. That is A-OK -okay with me. I'll just full take the waves. It's for the best anyways. It's, it's important to have your prance up before you invade the enemy jungler. If your prance isn't fully stacked, you can die really easily. His Krugs are coming up now. It's a little bit disjointed from his uh, Raptor spawn. So what I'm gonna do is probably take these Krugs, shove top wave. He also is TPing for that. And the, if the enemies don't match this, they, are, they miss out on a bunch of gold and XP, and we can easily run if several of them come. Looks like Malphite went mid. I'd love for Karma to walk into me here. Yep. Got it. <clears throat> Pretty high burst for double burn items. It's not like we built Ludens with measure or something. These are damage over time. She's pretty far behind though. Thank you for the leash, Yasuo. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for the leash, Yasuo. Appreciate you, buddy. I'm gonna go help myself to those mid minions. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> oh, MS feeling a little spicy, dude. 
Almost got her with that AoE too. Oh, is Kha'Zix gonna cross into me? That would be awesome. Looks like he's smart. He's not gonna blind follow. He's gonna go around this way and he's gonna die. Oh, he went around the like weird long way. Oh, wow. He has no idea. He just doomed himself. <laughs> Uh, I just put another point in bowling ball, even though I should be maxing W second. That's beautiful, man. So beautiful. Dragon's up. I'm not too worried about it. We outscale them with Yasuo Wukong R plus my R. I'll play for CS. I'll play a little selfish here. Plus, I mean, I just don't think we even need it. Like if they have Draxel, it doesn't make a difference. If we have it, it doesn't make a difference. You can tell Yasuo feels the same way because he's not going for those. You can say he's going for my camps. Thank you for the leash, buddy. And I'm going to go help myself to those minions. This Yasuo is really helpful the way he helps me take my camps down to the last HP. He just speeds it up so much. Got him. Very nice. But don't know if I can solo Kha'Zix with no prance up. It's kind of dangerous. Need them prance stacks, baby. Oh, prance, we're moving at 394. That's nothing. Now that we have some prance up, we can cross over. My R's up. Thank you for the leash, Yasuo. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, thank you for the leash, Yasuo. <laughs> Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> I'm making, I'm trying to make sure he doesn't get the kills. I'm, I'm trying to improve him as a player by making him play from not too far ahead. That way he learns proper power spikes. That way he doesn't become a greedy Yasuo player. Oh, I think he's going to give me another leash. He's a nice guy. Thanks for the leash, Yasuo. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, it's just so funny. <laughs> it's just the best. Oh man, I missed. Looks like all the ways are kind of pushed right now. There's nothing for me to really go get. He can have my Raptors. I have to reset anyways. I gotta reset. There's nothing for us to get right now. Oh, they're gonna come back at me. Oh, cool, they didn't. That would've been lame. Now that we have dead mans, we'll go for hourglass. If you're not ahead like I am, you would be much better getting hourglass first. The only reason why I went for dead mans, third item instead of fourth, is because I'm ahead. And hourglass, you have to stand still to use it. With dead mans, I can stay even more mobile and carry even harder. The base amount of value Zanyas gives on Lily in general, though, is much higher. It's only since I'm ahead that dead mans will give me more value building it before the Zhonyas. The reason why Zhonyas is good on Lilia, with your low cooldowns, you can blow your load, come out of Zhonyas, blow your load again. Plus, it helps you with your R, so that way they fall asleep, you come out of Zhonyas, and then you eat them up. Oh god, I missed. Oh, jeez. Jeepers. I don't have any prance stacks, so I can't do anything. <laughs> Let me get some prance going here. Let me get some prance. Right, triple prance, quadra prance. See if we can land a bowling ball. Oh, and it lands. Oh, he's gonna army. Oh, nice try, buddy. 
Oh, I think that's a triple. Oh, never mind the shield. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I bit off more than I could chew. Karma is so hard to kill, though, for real. <laughs> She's the ultimate bait champion. She can self-heal, self-shield, self-speed up, snare you, slow you. <laughs> this Mundo's trolling. I didn't. I died more than once. I died three times. I died too much. Ultimately, their main downside, Kha'Zix was over ganking and I stole his jungle. That's a free win con for Lilia. The enemy jungler shows on one side of the map. Especially if the gank doesn't pan out, they kind of lose because you take their jungle full clear down and you build up a ridiculous uh, snowball lead. Can't build for... Oh, dude, we're so close. Just 200 gold. Less than 200 for Force of Nature. Force of Nature, Dead Man's ridiculously good on Lilia. She has all the base damage she needs from passive plus double burn item. All you really need is mobility and survivability. And you can pretty much carry. The only time this builds like kind of crap is if they're full squishy, which they're not. They have double shields, double heals, and Malphite passive. So they're on the squishier side, but it, they could be squishier. Bowling ball lands. And it did nearly half her health. <laughs> Timo, the, what are those shroom placements, dude? Oh my gosh. Oh, geez, dude. Let me build up some prance. Poop Kong going for dragon. I'm feeling a little left out. Oh, let me help. Nice. Very nice. I don't really need gold at this point. I just need speed. So I'm not bothering to finish these. There's no minions here. I lost all my speed. You're dead. Goodbye. Boom. Bowling ball attack. Malphite can't one shot me. I have too much health. Oh, does he still have? Oh, he thought he could, huh? Nearly got him with that too. I'm really fast. He can't keep up. <laughs> There's no way. I have Dead Man's plus uh, winged moon play. I'm giga fast here. Boom, the burn. I even red smited her, which kicks in off damage. So even my passive burn, even though it initiated first, my red smite triggered off that. Boom. Is she going to burn or what? Hey, Timo's clutch. GG's well played. Let's take a look at the graphs. GG's. Good stuff. Looking at damage ult enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. I'm pretty happy with that. Looking at damage taken, we also took the most in the game. Very spicy. If you guys enjoyed this Lilia jungle commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingstooks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.